we now have an application that we'd like to share with the world. That means you need to deploy it. If you're looking for the easiest and quickest way to get your app out there, PaaS service providers such as Heroku and OpenShift are quick and easy. So easy, in fact, that I'm not going to explain it. Many people, for various reasons, want to run their Python application on servers they control, whether that be cloud providers such as Amazon and DigitalOcean, or bare metal servers that they rent on their own. It's not hard to deploy to these environments, but there are a few more steps than with the past solution. Several years ago, the Python web development community standardized on the Whiskey protocol, which many people pronounce similar to the word Whiskey. Having a standard protocol was a huge benefit because it allowed tools to become available to help us independent of the framework. The tool we'll focus on is called uWhiskey. It is compatible with many tools, not just Django. As you'd expect, any Python web framework that supports Whiskey is compatible, but it's also suitable for running applications written with Ruby, Perl, PHP, and more. One of the reasons uWhiskey is so popular is because it is very flexible and easy to use. However, there are a couple tools that I just want to mention, though not in detail. If performance is your number one concern, the Gunicorn server was designed to be fast. If you're already using Apache, there is probably no easier way to deploy than ModWhiskey. Finally, if you use IIS, then you should look at the ISAP Whiskey, though sadly, deploying to Windows and IIS doesn't get a lot of attention. Okay, so now we know that uWhiskey is a tool to use. Let's talk about what happens during a typical deployment. 